Right, so next up, we're going to check out Tomb Raider. Before I actually start playing, though, one thing to remind you guys, if you're playing on Pro, is this is one of them games where you can actually change it from 4K to um, enhanced visuals. I usually stick with the visuals part, um, just because it depends on the TV use and how you've got your setup and stuff. And with an Elgato, sometimes you can't always run it through. But let's give it a go. Now, when I actually started this game, when I loaded it up, it said that I'd already played um, back in 2017. Now, I knew that I'd played one of the Tomb Raiders, but I weren't too sure which it was. And yeah, it, it looked like it with this one. But I deleted the save just so we can carry on with it anyway. Just so you guys can kind of see like the opening 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, um, I don't remember much about it. I know that we have to use an ice pick. I know at some point we're going to fall and kind of have to find our way around. But yeah, that's about as far as I remember about it. Literally three years ago and I played 6% of the game. Oh no, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. No, we're not gonna die. There we go, we're safe. Uh, jump across the gap. So this is very much one of them games where you have to press a certain button at a certain time. No, don't come and get me. I can get up myself. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, craggy walls of ice and rock. Right, so that should be where we can climb. Yep. Like, the game does look really beautiful. I just tend to get bored of story driven games at the moment. So, whenever I play something like this, I'll play it until I get bored, usually like an hour or two. And then I just never end up going back on it again. Like, I do regret it because I probably missed out on so many awesome titles recently. Like, I've only just started playing um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Do we have to jump across? Yes, we did. Don't drop me, dude. It's a brand new coat. Like, I've only just bought this Parker. Right, skip cutscenes. Let's just get through it. We've got some XP. Um, I can't remember what the XP systems are actually like on this game, though. And, like, we're probably only going to play, like, the first 10 minutes of it or so. course we can because nothing dodgy ever happens in dark caves does it what next I'm trying to remember i know um at some point again something gives away and we end up sliding down this big slope thing but that's about it imagine if you could build snowmen that'd be awesome So let's uh, let's get a move on, dude. Right. So where do we go from here? Again, every time it lets me skip a little cutscene, I will do. I don't want to spoil the story for you guys, but sometimes it just get a bit annoying as well. So, do we jump across there again and then climb to the top? I'm guessing. There we go. Right, so how's this dude planning on getting up? Because he ain't going to be swinging off my ass. Well, get a move on then, dude. Nice. Heads up. Like, I do enjoy the parkour system on here. And the way that you do have to kind of mantle around the map. Which way do we go, though? Is it up and around? Is this where we have to do a big jump? 
Um, yeah, I want to see you try though. You you try it, my friend, and if you fall, I will wave you goodbye. Are we actually nearly at the top though? Like, I'm not believing you. Oh wow, that were a big jump. Like, there's not a chance I'd be able to do that. So I'm guessing that's where we're heading. Don't die. No. Nice and frosty. We're swinging off his ass. I wasn't expecting that today. Swing me across and I'll climb up. Yeah. Or I'll swing, whichever. Feel like a toddler. Oh, whack it, whack it. No. If I die, I am taking you with me, so. Either way, mate, you, you better get swinging me. I was nowhere near that then. I well shouldn't have made it. Dude, what do you think I'm doing? I remember this bit and I kept dying. Or a bit very similar because I kept missing a ledge. Is that the plane I was thinking about? If I remember it rightly, it kind of falls down, tips upside down, and then you climb across it. Oh no, there we go. I literally just walked off the edge. Now moonwalking. I am dancing on the spot and there is nothing I can do about it apart from give up and die. Yeah, um, I, I forgot to press jump. L let's try it again. But no, that weren't the bit that we're talking about. Uh, there was a bit very similar. Possibly just later in the game. Oh no, different bit, different plane. Might have been the other Tomb Raider actually. Here's the slippy slide though. Wow, I pressed it then and it didn't work. Awesome. Or it might have been this bit that I kept dying on. A 10 minute video might have to turn into like an hour long video of me slipping, sliding, falling, breaking my face. Right, so we grab it. Then we shuffle across. Uh, there we go. When you full on pay attention, it helps. Go on, Lara. Jump like you're playing Fortnite. And either way, we go for a nice little tumble. And yeah. Now, one thing I'd say with this game, if you've never played Tomb Raider, give it a go. If you're into your story-based games, you're going to enjoy it. It is a really cool game. It's just one of those at the moment. 
if you're into single player games and you're into story, you'll like it. If you're only into multiplayer, I am pretty sure it's got a multiplayer side as well. Uh, but this is where we end the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, a like would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. But thanks for watching, guys.